Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, the summertime for me when I was growing up as a kid always meant catching fireflies. Now, I grew up on the East Coast and now I live on the West Coast in San Francisco, California where we don't have any fireflies. So today I'm going to make a craft that will bring back those memories of fireflies. It is a little plastic egg firefly and he actually has a little bottom that lights up. So for this craft you're not going to need too many things. You're going to be using a Easter egg, just one of those little plastic Easter eggs um, or you can use the ones that come from Legs Eggs and you're going to be using a little tea light. Now these I was able to get at the dollar store, two for a dollar. I'm going to be using some pipe cleaners. In this case I've got a white one and a black one. And I'm going to be using googly eyes. You'll need a sharpie pen. And for my wings I'm going to be using the lid of a deli container, just a little plastic lid here to make those iridescent wings. However, you can feel free to use anything you want. You can use um, you can use foam, you can use duct tape, you can use felt, you could even use flower petals, you can use whatever you want. Um, so it's up to you. And of course I have to have some scissors and my glue gun, my trusty glue gun. But remember, parental supervision please. Okay, so I'm going to be making, let's see, I'm going to make a yellow one. So my eggs here, they are connected and so I'm going to cut them apart. And some eggs I've found actually have holes in them already, but I'm going to pretend that they don't because most of the eggs that I've run into don't have holes. And so I want to show you how to do this if you don't have holes. But if you do have holes, you can always put your um, antennas and pipe cleaners and things like that through the holes to make it easier. Now, there's two ways to make your head. It can be this as your head or it can be this as your head. I tend to think that it's cute when he has the little stubby head, but you might like this to be his tail. But in my case I'm going to be using the stubby end. So to make his little antenna, first and foremost, I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to fold this in half to make the letter V. And then what I like to do is I like to round these ends down by just kind of rolling them with my finger. So I start at the tip and I just roll it on down. And now what I'm going to do is take the bottom of the V, pinch it together and then pull it up so that it makes the letter L there. See the letter L? And now I'm just going to take my little head here and put a little bit of glue right on the top here. Now like I said if you wanted to you could put your pipe cleaners through there through those two tiny holes, but like I said, not everybody has holes on their eggs. Okay, I'm going to use my pen to hold this in place, just so I don't burn my fingers. And once that's in place really good there, I'm going to let him sit over there while I work on his legs. Now the one important thing is whenever you're making your bug, make sure that you don't glue anything on this seam here, because you're going to need to be able to turn your uh, light on and off and if you glue this shut you won't be able to open it up to turn it on and you're not going to want to leave it on, 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 on all the time because your battery will die. So anyway, we are now going to make his legs and what I like to do is just kind of get a sense of how big I want my legs. I hold my pipe cleaner up here and I'm like, ah, that's pretty good. I like, for me, I like to go like a, a thumb joint. This is, this is about an inch and I use this measurement a lot. So I'm going to go about a thumb joint. I'm going to hold this right in the center, do a thumb joint there and a thumb joint there. And now I'm just going to cut two more pieces exactly the same length. And the reason I'm doing that is because my lightning bug is going to have six legs. So I've got my three pieces of pipe cleaner here. And what I want to do is I'm going to take them and kind of make like a little snowflake out of them. Just like that. See that? I just laid them on top of each other. And now I'm going to grasp them in the center and I'm just going to twist them. And what that does is that's going to bind them all together. And if you find that one doesn't, just twist it around separately. So that you've made a sort of snowflake shape and they're all bound together in the center. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take my head, which is nice and dry now, and I'm going to pop it on so that I make sure that when I'm gluing my legs into place here that I'm not gluing them anywhere near my little head. So I'm going to put a nice bloop of glue right here. 
And again, remember, I'm watching out for that seam. And I'm going to slide this down. Just be careful because this is going to be hot. Make sure you get that nice and glued. And I'm going to make sure that's nice and stuck before I do any leg folding. Now I'm going to put on some googly eyes. Now, please feel free to draw your eyes on, use buttons, use whatever you want. You don't have to use googly eyes. But I always like googly eyes just because they're fun. And for me, I always find that the bigger the eyes, the better. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here and give him some nice big eyes. There you go. And there is basically my little bug. Now I can fold down his legs. There we go. Now he needs some wings because what little firefly can fly if he doesn't have wings? Fly is in the name, right? So I'm going to be using this deli lid. And I'm just going to cut into the deli lid and around the edge here. Just do be careful. It's easy to cut your fingers when you're using scissors on a round surface like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my egg here and I'm going to draw around it to make myself a circle. And I'm going to cut this out. Now again, you have to realize that you are the artist in residence here. And what that means is, as I'm cutting this out, you can use whatever you like. Maybe you have some little bit of cellophane or plastic or iridescent something or other that you want to use for his wings. You can do that. Okay, now I've got my circle. I'm just going to cut straight across the tip there just to make that See that? Just to make that flat on that end. And then I'm just going to cut straight down the middle. And now I've got two wings. See? And now I'm just going to glue these wings right on his back. And again, I'm going to remember not to go on that seam. I know I keep, keep harping on that. I don't mean to be a, a drudge and a drone here. But if you glue it shut, then you won't be able to turn that light on and off. And that's kind of one of the most important things about a lightning bug. Okay, last step. There he is. He's all set and ready. Now we're going to add his light. So I open him up, turn on my light, drop my little light in, put his little head on, and pop that back. There we go. And there he is my little lightning bug. Now let me just show you his little bottom that's all lit up. And if I can get my crew to turn the lights off, you'll be able to see he and his friends are lighting up the summer night. Isn't that cute? For more ways to light up your summer nights, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. Oh, you're awful cute. <laughs>